Hi there, skin warriors. Let's talk about Keratosis pilaris, those little red or white bumps that feel like sandpaper, usually found on the backs of your arms or legs. It can feel like you're fighting an uphill battle, right? Like you're trapped in a bad skin day that never ends. We've all been there. Let's take back control, shall we? But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. The get rid of it! The first thing to remember is that Keratosis pilaris, or KP as we'll call it, isn't harmful or dangerous, just a nuisance. You know those days when you wish you could slide into your favorite sleeveless dress without giving those bumps a second thought? That's the goal, and we're gonna get there. A bit of background here. KP happens when too much keratin, a protein in our skin, blocks hair follicles, leading to these bumps. And while the exact cause of this keratin buildup isn't known, it's seen to run in families. So, blame genetics if you need to. But here's where we dive into the solution. We've combed through all the facts, and research from the American Academy of Dermatology's work in 2020 points to a few key steps you can take. Firstly, moisturizing is your new best friend. Seriously, don't skimp on it. Look for creams or lotions containing urea or lactic acid, like amlactin or eucerin, that can break down excess keratin. Remember, apply these twice a day, especially after bathing when your skin is still damp. It's like offering a drink to a plant in a desert, your skin will soak it up. Another important thing. Be gentle on your skin. I know those bumps can be tempting to scrub away, but resist. Overexfoliation can make things worse. The American Osteopathic College of Dermatology in their 2019 findings explained that gentle exfoliation once or twice a week is enough. Get a mild scrub or use a soft washcloth and do circular motions on the affected area. Just remember, you're not scrubbing a dirty pan. Be gentle. A hot bath can feel great, but for KP, cooler showers are better. The Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology in 2018 showed that hot water can strip skin of natural oils leading to dryness, which can make KP worse. So, try cooler showers. It's like splashing your face with cold water in the morning, refreshing and great for your skin. And finally, diet can also make a difference. Eating foods rich in omega-3, like fish and flax seeds, can help improve skin texture. A 2018 study from the Clinical, Cosmetic, and Investigational Dermatology Journal highlights this. Think of it like feeding your skin from the inside out. Remember folks, patience is key here. It might take a few weeks or even months to see improvement, but hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? If you found this video helpful, why not hit that subscribe button, share with your friends, or leave us a comment below. Let's keep the conversation going.